In this video, we're going to explore the machining or manufacturing configurations dialog window in FeatureCam. And now that you have a brief understanding of what the manufacturing configurations are, um, we're going to cover how to access those ma manufacturing configurations in the user interface. So to begin, we'll go ahead and click on Manufacturing, and then we'll select Machining Configurations. And you'll note that the Machining Configurations dialog window or dialog box opens in the middle of the user interface. And you can see a few different things here. And let's go ahead and just read it. It says, a configuration is a collection of machining attributes. Each part has its own configuration. Additionally, you can have other configurations for any purpose you choose. Manipulate configurations here. And we're going to do a few of those manipulations um, exercises right here in this particular lesson. So you'll note that the active configuration, at least at this point, is M4E001 attributes 1, which also matches the file name for the file that I currently have open. So, and you'll see that that's typical. Every time you open FeatureCam, uh, by default, the machining configurations are going to be automatically set to the file type for the file that you currently have open. Um, let's say that, for example, I had a, a setup in my shop. Let's say DVET's tool room is, uh, is a set of configurations that I wanted to apply to this particular part and that those configurations are different from what's currently listed as in, under the defaults for uh, M4E001 attributes one, the file configuration. So that, again, this is a file configuration that's highlighted in blue and that's indicated by the uh, paper icon that you see uh, in the left side of the file name. And just below that you'll see DVETS Toolroom 1. And if I click on that, you'll note that that is a personal configuration which is annotated by the icon for a single person. Um, just like my configuration and then pocket block configuration. So there are a few different configurations that are already uh, preloaded. And in this case here, um, I can select from it or select to apply any of these configurations to my current file. And to do that, it's relatively simple. What you want to do is obviously highlight the current configuration or the configuration that you would like to change. And then we're going to click on copy. And when we do that, it's asking us, where do we want to copy our settings from? I want to copy my settings from DVETS Toolroom 1. So I select that and I hit OK. And now, although it doesn't particularly say that, uh, all, of the, all of the settings from DVETS Toolroom 1 or all of, the, all of the machining attributes are now applied to M4E001 Attributes 1, the current file configuration. So relatively simple to do. We'll walk you through that one more time. Again, I'm going to select the configuration that I'm interested in changing. I'm going to select Copy. And I'm going to select the configuration that I would like to copy uh, the attributes from. And DVETS Toolroom 1. And then hit OK. And now those configurations are now applied to my current part. Um, now from this particular window, you can also create a new configuration. If you click on New, it'll ask you to select or name the new configuration. And you can type in uh, uh, Test Config 1. And it's going to ask us, where do we want to apply the default configurations from? And we can select from any of the configurations that we currently have. And you'll note that M4E001 Attributes 1 is the file configuration, or from My Configuration, or DVETS Toolroom, or Pocket Block or from the FeatureCam version 19 defaults. So you have a, a variety of settings that you can apply here. Let's just say for this example, I wanted to make my test configuration, my new configuration, I want to copy the settings from the pocket block configuration or the attributes from the pocket block configuration. I hit OK. And you'll note now I have an additional set of configurations that are applied. You'll note that configurations are the parent type uh, relationship and the parent to child, whereas attrib attributes uh, are, are the child uh, in the parent-child relationship. And we'll talk a little bit more about adjusting attributes when we get into some of the uh, later lessons. So, so far we've covered new. You can also rename a configuration, simply select on it, 
and then select rename. Um, again, the copy, you can delete a configuration. Let's say we wanted the, to delete test configuration one. We could do that here. Simply select it. It asks if we're sure. Yes, I'm sure. We don't need that configuration. Now, we can import and export configurations as well, although we won't cover that in any detail in this particular lesson. You can also access the help menu for more information on um, from the feature cam help menu or help file on uh, manipulating these machining configurations. Mm -hmm.